Hello, Little Mouse, Chapter 4, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira of Rose. Artwork by Candy Fluffs on Instagram. You can find a link to Candy Fluffs Instagram and their store where they sell super awesome stuff in the description box below. Now then, if you haven't already, don't forget to not only like this video and subscribe to this channel, but also check out the previous three parts if you haven't already. As long as we're going through the checklist, don't forget to leave a comment to help support the YouTube algorithm. And if you don't know what to comment, put pickled onions, because why not? Now then, please enjoy Hello Little Mouse, Chapter 4. Adrian Acrest, Swallowing His Anxiety Ready to go? Adrian asked turning around and locking in eye contact with Marinette before either of them had a moment to so much as pack their things. Who? Uh, me? Marinette flashed an all-toothed smile, but he could tell it wasn't genuine even if Alia hadn't elbowed her in the ribs as she spoke. No, I was talking about Ladybug, he joked, realizing it was in poor taste considering they were going to talk about her status as multi-mouse. May I carry anything for you? He noticed Alia bite back a remark, but didn't draw attention to it. Um, sure. Just give me just, uh, just a minute though, okay? Sounds great. Meet me outside. Perfect. That went better than expected, right? Adrian had to restrain himself from humming, not knowing how that would affect Marinette mentally. He gathered his things and hopped down the stairs, beelining past Chloe and Sabrina's chatter. He debated checking himself over in the bathroom mirror, but didn't want to miss Marinette when she came out and forewent the idea. Trampling his anxiety, although it wasn't as great as it once was, Adrian greeted her with a smile in the sunshine when she came out of the building and escorted her to the car. Would he have preferred to walk to the cheese store in Starbucks on foot? Yes, undoubtedly, but rules were rules, and even stopping by his usual places on the route home felt like a bending of rules when there was someone else in the car. Cheese or drinks first, he asked, hoping making a choice would make her more comfortable. She looked like a mouse caught in a trap, cute, but clearly on edge. Drink, she exclaimed. Drink is good. Drinks it is. He gave a friendly chuckle, but he noticed her shoulders tighten. Whoops. Best not use that right now. Got it. Besides, if they finished talking before their drinks, Leon wouldn't mind them walking in with them. Do you know what you want already? They both opted for steamers. Her with almond and cherry flavoring, and his with vanilla, almond, and blackberry. Yum. He had them steam it at a lower temperature, because he'd rather be disappointed with a quickly cooling drink than be uncomfortable with a burned tongue, although it might keep him from saying things he shouldn't. So, uh, Marinette said, warming her fingers on the cup. He hadn't expected her to break the silence. The more he thought about it, the more it made sense that she was multi-mouse. She was brave enough to be a hero, but still a bit skittish whenever he saw her. So, the girl you like is Ladybug? She squeezed her cup until her knuckles turned white, only looking at him as she spoke the last word. That wasn't how he expected her to open the conversation. Uh, yeah. Adrian ran a hand through his hair. He had to look away. You got me. You like Ladybug? I mean, yes. I mean, it's not that surprising, is it? The working with someone like that every day? Even if I hadn't fallen for her right away, it was bound to happen, don't you think? What? Like, like fate? I mean, I don't want to sound like a stalker or a hopeless romantic or anything. But yeah, no matter who she is under that mask, it feels like I'm fated to be with her, you know? Even if it never turns romantic, 
I was meant to meet her. She didn't answer, and he knew he'd crossed a line. He opened his mouth to apologize for making her feel uncomfortable, but she beat him to it. Because you're... She sucked in a breath, her next sentence tumbling out in a sigh. You're Cat Noir. Yes. He flashed a smile as he raised his cup. Yes, I am. The Blackberry steamer washed down the anxiety the confession gave, letting the relief steep through the steam. Oh, okay, Marinette said, staring at her drink. You like Ladybug. I'm surprised you remembered I like anyone. He'd only mentioned it once, maybe twice, and never by name. Well, it's not easy to forget Cat's affections for his partner, she said into her cup, choosing that moment to take a sip. He chuckled, knowing the warmth on his cheeks wasn't from his beverage of choice. What, do you know something? Uh Uh-huh! Her attention snapped from the cup to him, making the first organic eye contact between them all day. You and Ladybug, has she ever talked about me? Talked about you? You know, like, girl talk? He kept a smile pressed on, but realized how poor of a choice it was to ask. He surely didn't look good in the light the question gave. Um, well, she, she, uh, She likes you. Adrian felt his body melt into the same temperature as his drink. She does. His voice turned breathy, which was better than raspy or choked, he supposed. She fumbled with her drink and looked away. Well, obviously. She wouldn't have given you the snake miraculous if she didn't. No, that's what she meant. For a glimmer of a betraying moment, Adrian thought she meant Ladybug likes Cat Noir. Yeah, he knew better than anyone it couldn't be that simple. Oh, yeah, right. Makes sense now why you didn't follow through with it. Believe me, I tried. He took the lid off his cup and stared at the milk inside. But... Ladybug and Aspic just don't have the same ring to it, you know? I suppose it doesn't, she sighed, mirroring him by taking her lid off too before downing the remains in a single swing. You good? Adrian finished off his drink before crumpling the cup and tossing it into the garbage. He'd never met someone who knew his identity before, besides Master Fu, but he doesn't count. He wasn't sure how people were supposed to respond. Yeah, yeah, it's just... She took a breath before throwing her cup away. I'm processing all of it. Take your time. It's not every day you find out your classmate is the most wanted superhero in the world. By Honk Moth, you mean? Well, I don't mean Ladybug, but that'd be nice. He noticed her pink cheeks as she pulled her scarf back up, shoving her hands in her pockets. She looked extra small in the extra layers, just like a mouse in her nest. How cute. Yeah, it just, well, changes things. You good? He asked a second time. He thought he knew Marinette pretty well, but he couldn't get a read on her this time around. It was strange to hear her speak without her natural stutter. Yeah, yeah, I am. She store? Sounds great, yeah. Adrian flashed a smile, but it was only in relief. Good. Things hadn't changed too much. They could still be friends, right? Yeah, even though she knew his identity now, they could still be friends. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 5 is on its way. If you are still listening, comment yummy cheese. And don't forget to smash that like button. I will see you in chapter 5. Bye!